So today we have George and Emmett downstairs playing with their mama. They get bored in their room. <laughs> She's so good with them. Fiona, hush. She said, what are you doing down here, Emmett? Ellie, Ellie, your babies are fine. <laughs> They're so big. So these guys go home on Monday. He's already over 23 pounds. He's so heavy. I'm hoping he doesn't have any potty accidents, but they might. George is bebopping around. Hi, George. Ellie said, what are the kids doing down here? <laughs> You're fine. I was hoping it was going to get warmer and I could take him outside, but it just never did. See your mummy. Hey, George. She's like, come see me. Oh, dropped a piece of wood. There's your mummy. Hi, Emmett. Give me smooch. Little puppy. Well, he's not little. <laughs> George is over 20 pounds, too. That's the one with the green collar. Ellie said, what are the boys doing down here? Yes, go see your mummy. I want to go see my mummy. You don't want to go see my mummy. <sighs> George! Think George's going to see Frankie? <laughs> That's where Frankie's room is. George! Come on, George! You <clears throat> can play. Oh, great. Oh, great. We haven't noticed a cat yet. George is pretty curious what's going on in the rest of the house. <laughs> Ellie's trying to keep him contained. Oh, there's Grandma Fiona. Fiona already visits him and likes him. Oh, Ever. You are a chunky puppy. Hey boys. <laughs> so they go Monday to our vets for our shots, their shots for eight weeks. Um, they get deworm one last final time from us. They'll get their health certificates. They'll go home with all that and their AKC paperwork because they are purebreds and we are licensed with AKC also. So. We still have a girl in heat, that's why we have a, one of the boys barking. They're gonna go over and say hi to Grandma Fiona. Hi George, what's up George? Don't let's not stress out your mummy. Great. Oh Emmett, you are such a little love. Giving me smooches. She's keeping a fierce eye on him. George! George is my little explorer. There he goes. Say hi, Eva sees him too. Eva's in the other room too. Oh, Vion, don't be mean to that baby boy. That baby boy. That's their actually biological grandmother right there. That's their father's mother, Fiona. Hi, what's up, chubby boy? You can't get up here. Can you get up here? <laughs> I will miss these guys when they go home, as I miss all of them. You get a bond with them after being with them for eight weeks. You know, they learn their personalities. You're there when they start learning how to walk and potty training, and their little personalities come out. <laughs> Ellie's uh, last babies. Oh, she sees the kitty. Kitty won't hurt your babies. No, your babies are safe. Oh, he said, hi, kitty. She's trying to get Emmett down off me. <laughs> Easy with him. He's a baby. I know he's your baby. So those are Ellie's last two babies. She has been spayed. Uh, hey, what did you find? Oh, come here. He's eating something. 
Uh, a potato chip, of course, behind my husband's chair. George is busy checking out the place. Emmett's busy eating a potato chip he found. <sighs> They're so cute. And um, George still does have his white tipped tail. It stayed with him. Very slight, but it's there. Huh, George? <laughs> uh, what, Isabel? So this is Isabel. She's our cat. We've had her... She's almost 14 years old. So she's used to puppies, dogs. And she likes some of them, but not all of them. Oh, George noticed her. Oh, his mummy did too. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday here. Um, another cold day in New Hampshire. Another day of snow coming. So I'm pretty tired of the snow. But uh, last week, we finished up our breeding. We had a breeding with, as you saw before, with Eva and Hurley. And that seemed pretty successful. We'll build the dough in 30 days. We still have our other girls that we bred. So we'll, we'll see how they're going to do in about 30 days, too. We got our little puppies ready to go to their big appointments tomorrow. So they had their bath. Got all nice and clean. They are very playful. All I do is hear them running from one end of their room to the other end, back and forth. And they're uh, playing and snarling. And you can hear them right now. <laughs> so they're both so active. They're so sweet. So they go tomorrow and they'll get um, checked out by our vet. They'll get their health certificate. They get dewormed again. They have their shots. So that will be their first trip out of the house. And their new families are coming to pick them up in the afternoon. So they'll be good to go. Callie's, uh, I went over and saw Callie's puppies yesterday. They gotten so big. And they're so cute. And Mama Ellie is still, uh, Callie is still with them. Ellie really hasn't been in with her puppies. So her puppies are kind of... You know a lot's going on their immune system's changing you know um, they're off mom's milk so it's a lot for their little bodies to go through they'll be having their shots tomorrow um, they are getting they're big boys but they're they're happy boys that's what's important we have an alarm going off Fiona's thinking if she should bark or not it's okay guys um, so that's we got Ellie right here protecting <laughs> Eva's thinking about it. She's not a big barker though, Eva. And Fiona usually guards the house from the couch. Ellie is a good protector. But anyway, so that's what was going on. And this coming week we have our both of our litters going home. So that'll keep us busy. Uh, just waiting for spring. Um, so we always go to our vet for um, we don't do shots. I'm not I'm not a vet and I don't there's nothing that would interest me in doing it. And I like to have the vet check them out. I mean our vet is very thorough. We've been with them for over twenty years. We we really like them and their staff is great there. Uh, we had Frankie's appointment um just last Friday. He had to go in and they're really great with him too, because they always need help lifting him in and out of the car. He doesn't like the car. Um, so he had his checkup. He's considered a senior now because he's seven. He's 167 pounds. He's a big boy, but he's still a baby at heart. He loves going to the vets. He's a social bug, so he loves seeing all the people there. So we had that. And we have some other vet appointments coming up, so we're pretty busy. Um, and if people don't know, we are a licensed kennel here in Salisbury. Um, so that means being, uh, you know, we have to renew our license every year. So by having being licensed through the state of agriculture in New Hampshire, it's like a lot of different guidelines and stuff that we have to follow. Um, so we do follow them. And I, I like having it. So... What they have is they have 
for um, New Hampshire what the guidelines are if you you we are licensed because sometimes if I produce over a certain amount the state requires us to be licensed. We've only ever produced that many once. It just happened to be one of those years. We haven't since, but we still keep our licensing. We like to have it. It's just another assurance to, you know, our future puppies going home that we follow guidelines and standards. We do have agriculture come through our facility, which is our home. Our dogs are not out in an outside kennel. They are in our home with us, but we are still considered a licensed kennel. Sure, it's if you produce over 25 puppies in a calendar year. Their calendar year, I believe, is like, starts like August to August or August, to July, something like that. So it's not like January to January, but, so every time you bring your puppy in and get a health certificate, the health certificate also goes to the state. So the state knows how many puppies you produce. So when you have backyard breeders that are trying to produce a lot of puppies and um, fudge the paperwork or, are a little bit dishonest about where those puppies are coming from. They're supposed to be state and licensed too, but you do have breeders that will find the loopholes instead of just following the rules. I rather, um, I actually was pretty happy when ag agriculture came out. I got to learn some things from them. You know, it was a good experience for us. We've had AKC. We are also, all of our Danes are AKC registered. So we've had a a Ooh. AKC, field agents come out and inspect to make sure that we're following their guidelines. So they each have a different, it's kind of similar, but they both have different guidelines to be either registered, you know, with AKC or registered kennel through the state. So we've been registered through the state o over a couple of years, but we've always had AKC. Um, we only have AKC Great Danes here. We don't have a ton of other breeds. Some breeders you'll see will have Chihuahuas or French Bulldogs or Poodles. I mean, but we only have them. So it's just one breed here for us. And um, to each their own. So um, giving our puppies a bath today because they go home tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get them nice and clean and get them ready to, to go home. So Emmett's going in. Go get George. We have George. Let's see if we can get it so we can see the boys a little better. There we go. There's the boys. Hi, boys. Water's too cold, but I don't want it too hot. These little boys. Ooh, that looks good. And they're scrambling. He said, I get out of here. Come on, boys, let's get in the tub. Let me be in the tub. Then I'll rinse them. 
What do you think? Brother's getting clean. You should get in clean, little man. So George is not, he's ready to be scrubbed up too. Thanks for the kisses, Emmett. Smell good to go home tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so we're all scrubbed up. Now we can do the rinse cycle. We can do the rinse cycle. What do you think, George? Okay, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Hold Hopefully, George uh, Emmett doesn't try to sneak out again. Little sneaker. Little sneaker. <laughs> it's a big puppy. He's tall. He's a tall boy. Wait a minute, George. Come on, George. Let's get in here so we get the front. Rinse off. Wash your head and your face. Right, Emmett? I got towels. Oh, you're gonna be okay. Okay, let's talk you off the ledge. You're gonna voice your time. Just get Oh, thank you, George. Thank you, George. I know, Emma, you don't want to do this. Take a bit. Take this bath. All right, I think we're good. Whoops. Get the water off. And dry these boys up. Dry up these boys. <laughs> You get the towel. Where's George? Emmett said, I can I escape from over here? You wait, Emmett. I got something for you to do. I got a towel for you too, Emmett. Yes, I do. Just drying up. Drying you up. You happy baby. Happy baby. Oh, shake it off. Uh, okay. Okay, little George. I'm ready. So they had their bath. And now they're uh, drying off in their clean bed. Just had a drink of water. I've been giving them regular water now. So to the shots for tomorrow. Huh, big boys? Big boys, you're going to go home. Yep. So I took their collars off because they were wet. But they're drinking regular water. They like it. They're doing well. They're whining because they want to be out with me. It's George, a little love bug. Hi, huh, Emmett. Hi, huh, Emmett.